Good morning, everyone. Welcome to another flight attendant vlog. If you don't know me, my name is Danielle and I am a flight attendant based here in Denver, Colorado. So today I wanna to take you along a trip that I'm super excited for. I have a layover in Jackson Hole, Wyoming. So here's me just getting ready and getting along for the day. Good morning, everyone. It is 3.53 a.m. That's right, it's 3.53 a.m. I woke up at 2.30 today to get ready for work and today we're working. So normally I would complain about being up this early, um, but the past few turns I've done have been 5 a.m. check-ins, just like today. So I have been kind of getting into a little routine, although I will say it is really hard to force yourself to wake up that early. So not only do I try to go to bed earlier, which is really hard for me to do, but I also try to take melatonin before bed because otherwise I don't know if I can get up. Anyways, I know the lighting is horrible in here, but we are heading to work right now. Um, trying to get there kind of quickly, just so that I have plenty of time to walk to my gate and go through security, although I don't expect it to be very busy this early. So let's head to the Denver airport. Also, today I only have two flights. I'm going from Denver to San Francisco and then San Francisco to Jackson Hole, Wyoming. I'm super excited to have this layover. It's about 15 hours long, which isn't very long, but um, it's a beautiful mountainous ski town. And I've heard great things about the hotel and the layover from crew over the years. So excited to be there. I'll check in with you when I land um, and get to my hotel and tell you about the day. Okay, so in a fun twist of events, I am in an unexpected place in a hotel room. And let me explain. So basically, I have my first flight from Denver to San Francisco, and we just landed a little bit ago, maybe an hour or so ago. And when we landed, we discovered our next plane that's going to be because we switched planes for our next flight. And that next plane is delayed. It's got some kind of maintenance issue that requires them to, uh, I think, outsource a part for the plane. And so that plane is currently in Santa Ana, California. So we're in San Francisco. And so that was gonna take at least two more hours. We were able to call and get a hotel room for our long sit. So, yay. <laughs> uh, no one wants to sit in the airport for, it was gonna be about five hours, possibly longer. So instead, we were here in a hotel in San Francisco, so I'll show you around the room. But yeah, um, I love when I get the chance to have a hotel. It's just nicer, you can get a little bit of rest. But the thing is, when you have to go back to the airport for your next flight, you have to arrive at the gate almost an hour before the plane. So that subtracts an hour out of the rest I'm supposed to be having. And then I need time to even take the shuttle van back to the airport from the hotel. So that takes another little bit of time. So really, this is a five hour sit, but I'm only gonna be able to be here for about two hours. So I'm gonna hurry up and try to get some rest while I'm here and close my eyes just for a quick two hours and then get back up and get ready to go back to the airport. So this is the room. Here is the front door. We've got a little coat rack in case you're interested. This is what the bathroom looks like, nothing fancy. And this is just a little airport hotel. Got a little mirror, a little desk, which this drawer won't close. Sometimes that happens if the ground is like at a slant. Um, but yeah, pretty standard too. It looks like full-size beds, I'm not sure. But yeah, that is where we're staying. I'd say the hotel room is pretty average for what we have normally. Uh, sometimes we get rooms that are slightly nicer in other cities. Sometimes they look pretty similar to this. I mean, the carpet looks clean, the beds look clean. It's not the oldest place I've been in, and that's kind of all that matters is how clean it is to me, really. Uh, it's not dusty, it's not dirty, so I'm grateful for that. Okay, so I got changed into my pajamas, and I'm all tucked into bed, super cozy. 
and just kind of wanted to talk a little bit more about what happens when things like this, getting a hotel room in the middle of the day unexpectedly, <laughs> what happens when, when this goes on. So basically, um, we really only have two hours before we have to get back to the airport, which is kind of unfortunate. Sometimes you almost wish it was longer so that I could actually try to rest. I don't think I'm going to be able to sleep. Um, but hey, it's always nice to just kind of lay down and have a private space to kind of rest versus being at the airport and being surrounded by people because that's like our job is we're constantly surrounded by people and people's energies all day. So it is really nice when you kind of have space to decompress and do what you need to do and just kick your feet up a little bit because we're on our feet all day and we don't always even get to do that as, that much. So. It is really nice. I've got my food uh, refrigerated in the fridge. Um, and then I'm just gonna use my little work phone I have right here to monitor what our next plane's doing. So like I said before, our plane is in Santa Ana waiting for repairs. Um, I can get pretty detailed information about the updates on it through my work phone and apps. So I'm gonna kind of monitor that and um, see if it's got potential to be delayed even further. So in that case, we would just stay in our rooms and communicate with our company and the schedulers and try to see like how long we'll be here for. But as long as we're on time when we need to be, that's kind of just the major thing that we watch out for. Um, but anyways, I don't wanna get too deep into that. <laughs> I'm gonna try to get my little bit of sleep um, usually when this happens and I only have a short amount of time to sleep, I don't take my makeup off and shower and do the whole thing because then that defeats the purpose of even trying to rest because we don't have much time. So I'm going to sleep in my makeup, which I know I would never, ever, ever do at home, but this is a nap. This isn't a full night's of rest. So I'm going to lay down, try to close my eyes for a little bit and hopefully get some kind of resemblance of sleep. And then I, like I said, I put my food in the fridge. Um, I didn't fully unpack. I have my clothes laid out and my jacket and I'm trying to keep everything contained so I don't lose everything in a short amount of time while I'm rushing around. Um, but yeah, so I'm gonna take a little nap if I can and I'll update you guys later on what ends up happening with our plane. Okay guys, so I'm about to head out of the hotel. We ended up being delayed for two additional hours. So I'm really glad that we got to spend the time here in the hotel and stuff at the airport. So it is 1.40 p.m. and we're about to hop on our last flight to Jackson Hole, Wyoming. So super excited. A little sad that we get there later. So we don't get there until six something, I wanna say. Six, I'm not entirely sure. <laughs> But I don't know if we're gonna have to, any time to like explore the town like the rest of the crew wanted to do, but we might just end up staying in our rooms. So gotta head out and let's get the show on the road. All right, everyone, after a four hour delay, we finally made it to Jackson Hole, Wyoming. I'm so excited. Um, we still have a little bit of sunlight left, but you have to see the amazing view from my room. Let me show you. Okay, how do we open this? Let us out. <laughs> oh my God, is it locked? Okay, it was already locked. Check out this view, look at this patio. Oh my god, it is so gorgeous here. I'm obsessed. Right around the corner there is actually the ski village. But yeah, take a look at the room. I am obsessed. It's such a nice hotel, such a nice room. So I've got two beds here. Let me zoom you out. Cute little desk with marble finishes. It is just gorgeous. It's an older building, but like how cute is the artwork 
And then look at this bathroom. How pretty. Quite a difference from the San Francisco room. I'm so excited. But yeah, my crew and I, we were all super excited to be here. I think this is everyone's first time. Maybe one of the guys has been here once before. I forget. But my two other crewmates and I are meeting up to go walk around the town before we lose this daylight. So it is 7.13 and I gotta meet them downstairs at 7.20. So I threw on my change of clothes and then I set out a couple of my things for work tomorrow. Since we have to be up early, our van time that's picking us up is at 5.30 in the morning. Anyways, <laughs> it's okay. I've been waking up early any, every day for work anyways. So it's not really that bad, I guess. Um, but I'm getting out there to enjoy this nature. Um, it's just been so cool this winter, I guess this month of March, I have really transitioned from doing lots of Hawaii flights, and that's something that I totally love, but um, because of my schedule, I wasn't able to get a lot of those this month, so instead I've ended up in these snowy, gorgeous, beautiful places like Seattle, and then for fun, I went to Vail, and it just takes my breath away. Like, I really love the snow. I don't live in thick snow as bad as this in Denver, but man, is it gorgeous. So yeah, off to go have some fun. Yay. Hi guys. So it is the next day and just wanted to share a little update. I just got ready for work. It is 5.26, I have to be downstairs in 10 minutes. My voice is kind of scratchy because I am very tired and didn't bring any water <laughs> to my layover. So I'm a little thirsty. So I'm gonna go hunt for some water and coffee downstairs in the lobby. Um, but yeah, I'm actually ready kind of early, which is a surprise. Usually I'm running out the door, but I had so much fun last night. I went with my two crewmates and we walked from the hotel to the downtown Jackson Hole area. It was just the cutest little ski village ever. And I know I was just up in Vail. It definitely has those vibes, just a smaller town than that. And um, it was so cute. And I can't wait till I can come up here on a day off and just kind of spend more time and enjoy it a little bit more because it was so adorable. Um, so maybe in the next few weeks I'll do that and just kind of have a fun day. But um, I took as much clips as I could while the sun was still out since the sun set kind of fast. Um, but we ended up walking to a little restaurant and bar and had some appetizers to share. I got like a, a pretzel with beer cheese and it was so good. And then we ended up walking back and it was very cold outside um, and then went to bed. So now, now it's time to go to work. I've got three legs today. I'm going from Jackson Hole to Denver and then I have an El Paso, Texas turn and then I'll be home and I actually get back at 4.30 in the afternoon. So I get back early even though I'm working all day. So that'll be nice and yeah. So thanks for coming along with me. If I decide to end the video here, then thanks for watching. Um, I hope you enjoyed the uh, cute clips of Jackson Hole as much as I enjoyed being here. So yeah, thanks for watching. We'll see you again next time. Bye.